Hey YouTube, what's going on? Coming back at you with a new knife that's new to the market that just literally came out. Um, it's exclusive to Knifeworks. This is the Essie Avispa, which is a Spanish for Hornet or Wasp. And it's basically the larger version of the Essie Zancudo. So as you can see, it's quite a bit bigger. Uh, I don't have a Zancudo anymore. I gave one away. So, um, but here's a comparison to the Ontario Rat 1, so they're almost exactly the same size. And the dryer kicks on. <laughs> nice timing. Alright. Oh. So, this knife is new for 2014. Like I said, most dealers don't have them. They are a Knifeworks exclusive. This is supposed to be like a foliage green. It looks gray though, especially compared to the actual gray rat one. They look almost identical. This one does have a little hint of green, but so size wise, you're looking at this pretty much the same size as a rat one. Um, they, it does have, it's a, but it is a frame lock, which differs there. It's got the three and a half inch blade. I think the rat one has a titch longer blade. Let's do a little comparison here, side by side. Yeah, it looks to be just a little bit, uh, we did pivot to pivot, which is hard to see on this side. Let's turn them over. Pivot to pivot. They're almost identical. I mean, the rat one might be have a titch of a bigger blade. So it's three and a half inch blade. You can see the SE logo there, which has always been one of my favorite logos. There's the item number there. It's got a nice stone washing on the blade. Uh, on the back you have the avispa plus the little wasp. Well, there's some cool touches for a budget knife. It's made in Taiwan. Aus 8 steel. Like I said, frame lock, tip up, tip down, left or right hand carry. So it's fully ambidextrous, ambidextrous as far as carry is concerned. It is a pretty large folder. It's a 5 inch handle. So I have medium sized hands. My hand goes up to about there and you can see I've got a good chunk of knife. So um, a little bit larger than the Zancudo. I think the Zancudo is a more EDC friendly knife where this would be a more of a harder use outdoors style of a folder. Um, these are $28.95 on Knifeworks right now. So they're only $2 more than the Zancudo, yet you get a half inch more blade, get a larger handle. So it's a good deal. Very, very good deal. Uh, compared to the Rat 1, which is also an exceptional value folder. You have a satin blade on that, a liner lock versus a um, frame lock. Price-wise, they are identical, $28.95 for the Rat 1 from Knifeworks. So, and this is a Knifeworks exclusive gray um, FRN handle. So these are only available at Knifeworks currently. Um, I, did, I didn't see any decent videos on these knives. I saw a couple low-quality very short video, so I wanted to give you a high quality in HD uh, look at the Avispa folder. Uh, like I said, new for 2014, the larger version of the Zancudo. Uh, this is the foliage green, they have them in tan, or uh, flat darker, they have them in coyote brown, they have this green, an orange, and I believe a black coming. They have a black with a black, and then they have the coated blades. Definitely step away from the coated blades, go with the stone wash. It's a, it's a really good looking blade. Really good looking stone wash. I mean, some I just t tend to just be so impressed by knives like this that are just such budget folders. Yet they have such good stone washing, such good aesthetics. Um, the tip, the clip is almost going to be moved to tip up for me. Um, but just a cool little knife for twenty eight bucks or thirty bucks. Let's call it thirty with tax if you have to pay tax. <laughs> um, here it is compared to so there's the right one and here is the new Kershaw. CQC 6. So you can see it's quite a bit larger of a folder. So it's a little less EDC friendly. I do like the, uh, and plus you get, price wise, you're looking at about 35 for the Emerson Kershaw collabs versus 28. So you're, it's just right there in the same ballpark, but you do not get actual G10 on the Kershaw, whereas these are the FRN handles, the Zytel, you know, fiberglass reinforced nylon type handle on the rat and the avispa so my opinion just 
not really a comparison these knives. I mean, these are really comparable, actually. They're both frame locks. Um, one's quite a bit larger, one has, does have a little more blade length, so if you're looking for a larger folder, the Vispa would be your choice, but um, value-wise, the Kershaws do present a better value, in my opinion, still, just because they are um, covered by their lifetime warranty. And there's no mention of a warranty on these. Let's see if there's one on the box. I know they're not covered by the SE warranty. They're covered by Blue Ridge Knives, which is what who makes these. Um, so I'd have to look a little more in detail as far as their warranty is concerned. It may be lifetime as well. But Kershaw's warranty is, you know, pretty much legendary. So um, you do get a little, you get the lifetime warranty of the Kershaw. You do get actual G10. You get the Emerson design, the Emerson wave, and then you get that nice two-tone blade. So I still think the Kershaw is the better value. But these are a great value. Don't get me wrong. And if you don't want, if you don't like liner locks, you like frame locks better. You can see one obvious advantage to the Avispa is how much thinner the knife is. You can see that. At least I can see that on camera. Let's see. Let's put them up next to each other. And this is the advantage of a frame lock versus a liner lock. Always is going to be a thinner knife because you don't have two. Um, you have one frame lock scale, and then you have the uh, the uh, show side scale. Then you, on this one, you have two scales plus the liners, so it is quite a bit thicker. Um, so the Avispa is a little thinner in pocket, which even though it's a longer knife, should actually make it pretty decent to carry. Uh, weight wise you're coming in at 4.5 4.4 ounces the rat one is 5.0 so there's your weight difference so there's an advantage for the avispa is it's the same size knife but it does ha it's quite a bit lighter a half ounce lighter and the kershaw is kershaw is also five ounces that's surprising 4.9 so the Avispa is actually lighter and it's larger. So there you go. There's a point for that. This wasn't really meant, intended to be a comparison video <laughs> between these, but at the same time, it is good to compare knives uh, in the similar price range to see what's a better buy. So the Avispa is definitely a cool folder. It's larger. If the Zancudo is too small for you, this is your knife right here because you get that beautiful stone wash, that nice drop point blade. Um, you get the frame lock if you prefer frame lock. I know I do. Um, I just feel more confident in frame locks and I like how much slimmer they make the knives as well. Uh, this is actually a really slim knife. Let's compare it to this frame lock. Yeah, and it's a little bit, it's quite a bit slimmer than the Kershaw is. So it's it's a really slim knife. It might be long, but it's very slim. So this shouldn't be too bad EDC. I'm going to carry this. Um, we'll do a full review. This was just a first look video. So there you go, guys. SE Avispa, new for 2014. Larger brother to the Zancudo. Uh, pick them up at Knifeworks. They are only available at Knifeworks right now. I know Blade HQ has them as coming soon, and I'm sure other dealers will get them. But currently, they're just available at Knifeworks. So, but Knifeworks is a great retailer to work with. I've ordered quite a bit from them, and I definitely highly recommend them. So, all right, guys, that's it for the overview. Please let, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.